hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i'm bringing to you another delicious cold cake recipe without wasting time let's just get started this video i'll be using some cracker base this you can find at any supermarket if you don't find them as big as these ones you can buy the regular small crackers and just arrange them i've also got some powdered chocolate custard over here if you don't have the powdered form you can use the regular custard it's going to work great so i'll pour it into a bowl and i'll come in with 300 ml of cold full cream milk with the help of my mixer, I'll whip it up till it turns fluffy. I'm using about 200 grams of the powdered custard. Afterwards, I'll set it aside for later. I'll get another bowl and come in with about 200 ml of whipped cream. I'll come in with my mixer and whip it up till it turns fluffy. I'll pour in 100 ml of condensed milk. I'll go ahead and give it a good mix. I'll get my chocolate custard mixture and come in with the whipped cream mixture. I'll go ahead and give it a good mix. Finally, I'll drop in 150 grams of mascarpone. I must say, this is also milk based. If you don't have this mascarpone, you can use cream cheese. I'll give it a very good mix. So, our cream is ready to be used. Now, I'll get the base plate. I'll pump in about four or five dots of the mixed chocolate cream. This is going to hold the cake in place. I'll come in with the first sheet of my cracker biscuit. I'll pipe the chocolate mixture onto the biscuit. I'll make sure I cover the whole surface. So I'll do the same thing till I run out of sheets. So I've got three sheets over here and this is the final one. So we all done now. I'll go ahead and sift some icing sugar onto it. Now I'll keep this in the fridge for about two hours. So it's been after two hours and it's ready. I'll just go ahead and cut a piece. You definitely need to give this a try. It's very easy and comes in handy when you don't have so much ingredients at home. Kids are going to love it and adults are going to love it as well. So I hope you are going to give this a try. And if you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.